How you guys doing today? Not bad. That's good, that's good. So how are you feeling about uh, just kind of the younger receivers, guys who stood out, Austin Roberts, Alex Van Dyke, those kind of guys? I feel good about those guys. They're, they're working hard every day, um, competing every time they step on the field. And um, they're, they're coming along, they're progressing pretty good. What's Austin's progress been like coming back from that ACL? Um, you really can't tell he had an ACL other than sometime when he's planting in a certain direction, he'll gather. Uh, more than just putting his foot in the ground and changing direction. So that's the, uh, but it still seems like he's still got that big time speed. He's, he's uh, very physical, he's very smart. Um, I like where he is right now. What kind of strides have you seen out of Aaron Sharps in spring when he first switched over to receiver to now? Oh, yeah, tremendous strides. Um, now he looks like a receiver. He looks like he belongs in that crew. Before, in the spring, he, he looked out of place, but now he doesn't look out of place. Uh, he missed a couple of practices because of a, a uh, hip flexor, but now he looks just like the rest of those guys. Does the pecking order of kind of the, the receivers change depending on you know who who the quarterback, the new quarterback, kind of forms more chemistry with? No, it, it, it won't. Um, we got a, a real good group of receivers and. Um, their job is to get open and catch the ball, block on the perimeter, and no matter who's the quarterback, they, they're expected to do their jobs. Have you had to uh, retire Bambi as a nickname for Alex Van Dyke? With the, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the way he's looking out there, he's looking strong. Uh, he, he said, Coach, you can't call me Bambi anymore. You call me Big Buck. I'm a full-grown deer now. <laughs> he also uh, he retired the boxing club for now. Oh, just for now. Just for now. Uh, just for now. Uh, uh, that's the boxing gloves is used for ball security. So uh, when I get to the ball security drills, the boxing gloves will come out. Yep. I'm excited about the crew that I have. It's very, very deep. Uh, it's an inside joke in our room that um, if you get hurt, you may not see, get your spot back. So they try to stay healthy. <laughs> they know it's a big time competition, and, and, and it makes it's making everybody better. Bassington said you'd never play again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't go that far, but, okay. uh, but uh, at least he knows this is a big time competition. The fear is there. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> yep. What have you seen out of uh, Steven Johnson so far? Oh, um, Steven Johnson confirmed what we saw on film. He's, he's, he has both uh, a skill set, both fast, quick, and, he, and he, he has some power to him, too. He's about 5'11", 6 feet, 190. Uh, he's not a small guy, so uh, we like what we see out of him. Have you had to fight off meat to keep him? Oh, man. Uh, Every time it's a, a great athlete, uh, meat is, is going to try to take him. And, I, I, yeah, he's in his ear right now. I got to, <laughs> I got to try to I get on the other ear and, and be the advocate. You're the good angel. Yeah, I'm the good yeah, angel. Yeah. <laughs> are, there, are there any other DBs that you have your eye on? Oh, yeah. I, I got my eye on... Uh, Octavius Spencer. All right, uh, I told him, "Hey, you're gonna come home in a little while. Don't worry. Just keep balling over there. But you're gonna come home to the uh, Papa." <laughs> to the good side. Yeah, the good, the good side. side. Yeah. Do you think whoever's at the Y position this year, Thomas or whoever, is gonna have added importance just with the new quarterback and kind of being a big target? Yeah, the the Y position is always a big target uh, for us. Usually, traditionally, in uh, Coach Mazzoni's offense, that that Y guy catches the most balls, um, but. Um, with, with Thomas Duarte, and, and, and the surprise of the camp to me is uh, Tyler Scott. He had a wonderful spring ball. He did very well in spring ball, and he and he uh, took over from where he left off from spring ball, and just he's uh, totally uh, ascending and not plateauing out. Eldridge said he's worked a lot on on his blocking. Is that something you've noticed out here in San Bernardino? Yeah, um, Eldridge was always a good blocker, but he he had to learn where the point of attack was. Uh, so what shoulder to get on a defender, that's where he would lose his blocks. And he's done a good job of uh, knowing where the point of attack is. If it's an uh, inside uh, run, he'll get on the inside shoulder. If it's an outside perimeter run, he'll uh, get on the outside shoulder. So he, he did a good job of that. And um, we always told Eldridge, man, you got to bend your knees, get down, it's basketball on the grass. And he's, um, uh, he's has done a pretty good job of blocking. He's taken that basketball thing to heart. Has he? He says he's like Charles Barkley, dunks on Tony Parker. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, every every 
football player want to be a rapper or a basketball player? <laughs> a rapper want to be a football player? Yeah. <laughs> you know what every sports writer wants to be? What they want to be? Home. <laughs> <laughs> you got a couple more days, though. No, we're no media available. We're going to be taking coladas by the pool tomorrow. I'm jealous, man. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, you guys enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, sir.